Hey everybody, it's Gamalad, and welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. Now, I guess you're all wondering, what did Gamma screw up this time? Because we're on the suspended software screen, screen, wow, no, screen, on his amazing Persona Q background. Well, yeah, while doing stuff off screen like part-time jobs and gifting stuff to people, it turns out I triggered a um, flower event. I have triggered Lizette's purple flower event, or, well, technically her second friendship event. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and view this event that I managed to stumble across on. Delivery! <laughs> what a wonderful story. No matter how many times I read it, I still yearn for the experience. Uh, Lizette, what are you reading? That's a good question. Yes, what is she reading? Uh, delivery. Hi. Um, oh, she seems flustered. Pat? Um, did you hear any of that? Yeah, I did. D to think that somebody caught me talking to myself. I'm sorry, I must have sounded crazy, right? It's just whenever I read a book, I just get so completely absorbed in, in it. That's no problem. We all get absorbed in our own type of things like video games. What book was I reading? Well, um... Go on, tell me. I'm not gonna judge. Much. Hey, now, it's nothing suspicious. It's just a little childish, so... You're reading manga? Kidding, kidding, kidding. I love reading manga. I can't imagine you'd be the type to spread rumors, Pat, but... Could you promise to keep this a secret? Sure, I have no reason to tell anyone about this. I was reading a picture book about a love story. More specifically, a love story about an ordinary girl who falls in love with a prince. I tend to like simple, cute stories like fairy tales over the stuff adults usually read. I mean, there's no problem in that. You, you like fairy tales too, Pat? Well, in general, I, I do enjoy fantasy, so yeah. I'm glad and also kind of relieved. Oh, that's good to hear. Actually, at my family's house, there's a ton of books. The ones here are just a drop in the bucket in comparison. Back in the day, every time I'd go home to see my family, I always bring a, a, a few back with me. But at this point, if I brought any more, this place would be a bookstore instead of a flower shop. <laughs> well, that, that big uh, widen your variety, come a library. But still, a grown woman like me getting all giddy over reading a picture book for children. I mean, I get giddy when a new Animal Crossing game is announced, so you're not... You're, so you're among friends, at least. It really is embarrassing. Oh, no, not at all. That's not true, you say? <laughs> Thank you. I was self-conscious since it, it seemed childish, but at the end of the day, I really enjoy reading them. I love stories about princesses and princes, maybe because I've always yearned for that sort of thing. You know, to have a fairy tale like romance. Uh huh. The romances in fairy tale are just so wonderful and idealistic, and it makes my heart dance. Back when I was a little girl, I always wait, waited with bated breath, wondering if a prince would appear before me one day. Oh, that sounds pretty interesting. Uh, what's my favorite story? <laughs> oh, yes, the one, uh, that one. Would you like to hear it? Uh, sure, let's hear it. All right, I'll give you the abridged version. Once upon a time in a faraway country, there was a beautiful princess and skilled knight. The two had feelings for one another, but kept it a secret from each other due to their different social standings. Amidst all of this, an evil witch, jealous of the princess's beauty, snuck into the castle and cast a curse upon a single blooming rose in the royal garden. Oh my. The princess, none, none the wiser to the danger, touched the rose. The thorns of the rose pierced her fingers, inviting a terrible pain upon her. The witch's curse was that, was that anyone pricked by the thorns of that rose would die a slow, painful death. This game is uh, rated E, right? Hold on, let me get the box for this. 
Oh, it's rated E10, so we can talk about this type of stuff. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious, what's the other one? The previous game was rated E10 as well, so... Well, then, what am I talking about? Keep going. The knight quickly caught on to the witch's evil scheme and quickly em embarked on a quest to defeat her. He emerged victorious and learned the means with the, pr the princess's curse. However, the thorn could only be removed by the princess, the princess's one true love. The witch had cackled at him, and so the king called forth all the princes of the land in an effort to take out the thorn. Unfortunately, every one of them failed. The prince continued to writhe in agony. Princess, her, her body uh, weakening, unable to stand by watching her, her suffer any longer. The knight forgot his own social standing and came forward. He attempted to pull the thorn out of the princess's finger. And, with no effort at all, out it came! Oh, that's pretty expected. <laughs> the knight, realizing that this, that this meant the princess loved, loved none other than himself, held the princess in his arms, kissing her in ex an, ex an expression of his own love for her. Thus the two were wed and lived happily ever after. Z and That those two star-crossed lovers were able to find true love is something of a miracle, don't you think? Even though I know it's just a story, my chest still tightens up. Well, that's really cool to hear. Ah, that's right! Since you're a farmer and all, I have a story I think you'll be interested in. A long, long time ago, on a faraway farm, there was once a man who lived in, who fell in love with his own cow. What's that rating again? And we were never seen again as we, as she talked her ear off to death. Just kidding, that's really cool. But I do have deliveries to make, was that, um... I'm so sorry, I lost track of the time and just kept prating on. It's no big deal, not like I had deliveries or anything to make, it was a lot of fun. Come on, Pat, please don't laugh. And don't forget, okay, the fact that I love fairy tales, it's her little secret. No problems, now take your package so I can go on with my life. Please. <laughs> oh. Phew, we sure chatted up a storm today, didn't we? But if you don't mind, I'd love to do this again someday. Okay, sure. Wonderful! I'll be looking forward to it. That's good to hear. Well, that was Lizette's purple flower event, and thankfully we didn't lose too much time of our day doing that because I have a delivery. <laughs> I gotta stick to my job first and foremost. I know you're cooking, Lizette, but here. Oh, is this package for me? Yep, there you go. Now please don't invite me to dinner. I have stuff to do. All right, cool. Oh, wait. Okay, first thing I thought she had another package or something. But, um, yeah, that was Lizette's Purple Flower event. I think the closest thing we've had to an actual heart event in this game. Um, actually, I think she's the only girl we've actually seen in her event of, so... Eh, that's, that, could, that could be it as well. But, um, yeah. To be fair, I was almost swayed into saying, huh, maybe I should marry Lizette because, you know, I do like writing fairy tales. Actually, I do like writing stories. I love writing. I've dabbled with writing short stories before, never really published any of them. I'm always, I'm actually, I'm actually working on a visual novel right now. Uh, granted, if you ever saw the visual novel, you'd question my sanity and what I'm writing, but it's because it's with a group of people and we all have different things I have to work around when it comes to writing this, so. Uh, yeah, uh, Carrie, okay, Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Uh, the wonderful Carrie. The girl who should have been a, um, a bachelorette, but is not one. Oh, well. Uh, hello, Carrie. Here's your package. But, um, yeah. I do like writing short stories. They're a lot of fun to do. Maybe one day I'll actually... One of my stories will... Frank, are you playing guitar here tonight? Hey, Frank. Evening, pet. You still got a lot of energy even after a long day. Me, I'm feeling a little beat. You're, you're playing the guitar, Frank. <laughs> he looks so happy. <laughs> When different folks raise the same crop, they'll get different results. Flavor, quality, even color and shape will be different. That's why I liked, I, I like taking a look at how other folks raise their crops. I can always learn something new. Frank, you just seem so happy. I, I, I'm happy for you, Frank. Oh, oh, there's, they're doing a, oh. 
Okay, that's pretty neat, even though no one's here. And it's a bit late. Oh, people are showing up. So this is the nightlife, even though there's no real music backing it up. Huh. Do I look happy? I don't know. You're going to get your drinks. I never really used to sit around town at night, so that's pretty interesting. But, um, huh. I could have sworn there was nighttime music. Uh, can I still do part-time jobs at night? Okay, uh... Oh, shoot. I can still do the other ones. The, um... All of the different ones here. Okay, I still have to do the part-time jobs for the, um... For the thingamabob. Uh, for West Town. So I'm probably going to do these three part-time jobs. So I can get those out of the way. Hello, Ford. Yes, we're here to harvest your crops. I know you were just eating dinner, but you had these tomatoes, which you couldn't apparently harvest on your own. They were standing right next to each other. Oh, you already finished. Let me just take the, that off your hands, then. I don't know. What about the weeds? You can take those off my hands every now and again. You have me pluck those. Here's your compensation for a job well done. All right. That's fine. I'll be looking forward to next time. Ah, uh, you lazy doctor. All right, it's whatever. Uh, it's getting a bit late, so, um, I know there's, like, there's more part-time jobs, but who would want me doing these jobs this late at night? Come on! Um, okay, we have animal trimmer and milker. Let's do the animal trimming job. And then we just do the milking job, and then that's two more part-time jobs I have to do, is that we fulfill the, um, requirements for that. Oh, you're here! I don't... I mind to rush you, but are you ready to start shearing the animals? Okay, sure. Okay, good, we got shears. Okay. Um, I discovered there is a game-breaking bug if you don't have a sheep in shears, and the person will forget to give you the shears, and you can't do the- and you cannot complete the job. So, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. Um, I've only heard it in the Japanese version. I don't know if that bug was patched out of the English version, but thankfully, this wasn't a live demonstration if that was the case or not. <laughs> okay, there you go. Take your sheep clippings. All right, Megan. Actually, you know what? She actually does... I should probably talk to her now and do those other part-time jobs for West Town in the morning. Sorry, Frank. I know I should probably use these jobs for you, but if these guys are still awake, I'm going to go ahead and bug them saying, Hey, uh, we have a town rank thing we have to do with you. Oh, shoot. Could they be asleep? She's a bit old. I couldn't imagine her still being up at, like, uh, 10 o'clock at night, or 9 o'clock, or whatever. Oh, well, she still is. Hello, Megan. If you want to, uh, oh, wait, oh, ah, Pat, excellent timing. I was just thinking. I wanted to speak with you. Could I ask you to come with me a moment? Oh, uh, sure. What's up? It's a bit late, but yeah. Pat, you use this bridge fairly often, don't you? What do you think of it? It's pretty run down and showing its age. But, uh, it's alright, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a bridge expert. Why do you ask me? I feel like it could fall any second now. Okay, listen to me. Don't pretend you know what you're doing. Just say no. It looks like crap and move on. It looks like garbage. <laughs> Yes, it is rather old, isn't it? The wood is even starting to show some wear here and there. Heck, some spots, some spots the boards creaking and groaning so much I get a little worried they might break. I'd hate to think of what would happen if a collapse while someone was taking their animal across. I think it's kind of fun how the bridge squeaks. <laughs> There's that one person. But they get all slippery when it rains. Doing a cross isn't so, isn't so fun, then. Yeah, we should probably do something about this. So, that's why I, I, we've all put our heads together, and we had ourselves a good long talk about building a newer, sturdier bridge. If we all pitch in and donate some money and materials, we should be able to have ourselves a new bridge lickety-split. Okay, that's fine. That's where you come in, Pat. We'd like for you to pitch in with us. You're a farmer, so I reckon you could probably go ahead and go get a whole material faster than most. Well, will you chip in too? Yeah, sure. Why not? So what do we have to what do we have to give for this? Oh crap! My eye is actually burning right now. Weird sensation. Okay, that's good to hear. Thank you, Pat. That that'll be great help. Thanks, Pat. Much obliged. 
I feel better already, knowing you'll be helping out. We've already collected all the money we should need. All we need is left is a few materials. If you would, if you, if you would, if you would, I'd like you to get these two things for us. Small lumber and lumber, ten of each. Think you could do that for us? Think I can do that for you? I think I got some on me right now. Wonderful. Consider yourself formally asked then, Pat. Once you get all the materials together, come bring them, bring them to me, you hear? All right, cool. Sheesh, we're getting a lot done on this strange evening. Oh boy, this is, this is gonna be a very um, content-filled episode. Unlike the last one, was most so more so of me rambling on for like uh, half an hour. Are you asleep? Okay, good, you're awake. All right. Um, by the way, have you collected all the materials I requested of you yet? I was uh, I hand over the materials. There you go. Excellent. Thank you for getting all these. Yep, no problem. Now. Is it a bit safe to build that bridge tonight? Hand it over small lumber and lumber. Yep, that's everything. Excellent! Now that we have the materials, we can get started just as, as everyone's ready. That's all for now. I'll come and get you when we're all set, alright? Alright, cool. Hopefully, um, that won't happen tonight. <laughs> Getting the, working on the bridge tonight. That sounds kind of dangerous. Um, so the only thing left to do now is ship sturdy crops to West Town, but unfortunately that's gonna- nope, wrong button. It may be on the back burner, mainly because I want to try and get our town ranks up with Lulukoko and Tsuyakusu. I know I kept saying Tsuyaku some, but it's uh, a slip of my tongue. It just, uh, at the end, is usually a lot easier for me to say. I have that problem in my Japanese class, it just becomes a bit of a pain. I'm working on it, I'll try to get better. But, uh, yeah, okay, it's a bit late, so... Oh, my animals are still outside. They should probably be put inside. Oh, no, they're asleep. No, no, I know, I know you're, you're, you're asleep, but go back in the... No, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to go in the bar. <laughs> oh, um, do I have... Okay, good, I have enough food. Don't sleep in your own... W whatever. W whatever, Carm. You go ahead and sleep in your own poo, I guess. Sorry, Nugget. We gotta put you inside. All right, and that just leaves uh, Rosie. I almost called him Kirby, because I named this cow after my friend Kirby. Uh, okay, uh, these flowers are not done just yet, but that should be about it for tonight. So, let's go ahead and uh, head on to the evening, leading to the next day, and get ready for that um, fishing contest. Or not, we're gonna talk about farming tips part one clear. Pat, you in? Pardon me. Uh, yeah, what's up, dude? What can I do for you? <laughs> well, well, looks like you finished up everything on the first farming tips list. Congrats. Nah, it was nothing. It was pretty easy. But, uh, now what? I'll let your paw know it's done. Once the next list gets here, I'll come let you know right away. Alright, cool. Oh, and on one more thing. I cleared and tidy up the plot of land on the west of your farm. It should be all ready for you to use. I'll uh, use use you, please. Go check go Hey, go check go on and check it when you get a minute. Oh, awesome, our farm's upgraded. Yay, my farm is bigger! Let's go check out the new area. Great, now I can buy a bigger barn. Right, I'll be headed home now. See you. I'll see you later, Pat. All right, see you, Frank. So awesome! We cleared the first farming tips, and we got a bigger farm, and we got a nice paycheck. Two good paychecks, and today is the Tri Olympics. Wow, we have a lot of stuff happening right now. It's kind of over. Oh, a word from Desi. Bring it all on it. Let's see it all. <laughs> Pat. Hey, Pat. Yeah, what's going on? Who? Nice to see you, Pat. How's it going? You're looking good. Oh, well, thanks, but what's up, Desi? It looks like you've been doing a really good job with the farm recently, Pat. As a reward for your hard work, I hear I'm here to give you a, a, you a stupendous present. Okay, just hold still for a moment. Abra Capocus! Oh? What's going on? I feel weird. Ooh, okay, 
Hey! Your stamina's increased! Awesome! So now we have six hearts! Cool, huh? I'll be cheering you on, so keep up the good work! Alright, cool! So I guess every time we complete a farming tips, we get another heart added on, so some incentive to keep doing the farming tips! Holy cow, we got quite a bit done in this episode! Um, I don't know if I actually want to do the festivals today, because we have- Oh, Let's see our new farmland, shall we? Or, this is not it. Okay. I think it's said to the west. So, we're on the wrong side of the farm. Okay, but that's still pretty cool. So, we have some new farmland available to us. Can I harvest these now? They're not quite done yet. How unfortunate. Um, he said to the west, so... Over... No, that's... that's no, wait, that... You know, okay, Gamma West Farm. I thought I was leaving the farm for a second. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We have some more area available to us. Awesome, which means I can probably get a lot more farming uh, stuff done over here. Put some bigger buildings over here. Awesome! But I think, you know, this should actually be a good stop for the episode. I should probably start stop time uh, before I um, waste too much time when I can't register for the uh, for the, tr the, the Olympic thing. Tri-Olympics, or whatever it's called. But uh, yeah, we did quite a bit in this episode. We saw one of we saw Levette's purple flower event. We finished um, one of the town link um, requirements by um, getting the bridge built. Granted, that was kind of uh, an easy talk, but we already had the materials to begin with, but they didn't buy, build the big barn instead. And we um, have our far farm expanded by completing the farming tips and got more stamina. So. Next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons Trio of Towns, we'll be doing the Trilympics and hopefully the Cooking Festival. And hopefully we win both of them. We've been on a good winning streak so far, so it'll be great if we can continue that. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below letting the chance of the series so far. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. We'll have a great time together. And as always, everyone, this is Gamalad signing off.